least somebody's recorded. You I'm failed in your job. <laughs> Huge breakout guy. Didn't want to get rid of my breakout. An offer was made that I couldn't pass up and I decided to upgrade because of more traveling, having to carry more stuff. It was just getting, it was whooping me on the breakout. So I stepped up, got a touring bike. Now, I know everybody just can't go out and buy a touring bike and there's ways to do it without going through Harley or going through another bank. And with my situation, I owed so little on my house, I decided to refinance it and get into my equity on it and bought this bike. So there are ways around things. Now I want to talk about just the bare bones ST for a minute. When I bought it, you can see that bone stock, straight off showroom floor. Had I bought this bike without doing how I got it, I probably would not be happy with it, to be honest with you. Um, you've got to change the seat. The first thing you got to change on these STs is the seat. I can't emphasize that enough. I do not know how Gliding on Twos made it from South Carolina to Florida. I barely made it from Titusville to JMP Cycles without just wanting to pull it off, throw it on the side of the road, and ride with no seat. That's how uncomfortable it was. Uh, if you ride with people with pipes, you won't be able to hear your motor. I could not hear this thing running at all, riding with Crystal and Nori and Hales. Could not hear it, so going from a twin cam to this, trying to learn the shift points where I need to hit the shifts and all that, trying to listen to the motor, because that's where I get my cues from is the motor. I was missing the shift points big time. Although that is rectified now. Uh, Harley, if you're gonna charge, you know, over $20,000 for a bike, get off your lazy butts and put LED turn signals on these things. Quit using glass bulbs. They suck, you can't see them. That was the first two things I did, which I'm gonna go over what I did and when I did it. But Harley needs to step up and change that. Because this, this they should not be coming with it. Incandescent bulbs on the turn signals. Uh, the headlight, I'm okay with the headlight for now. It's stock, I do wanna go aftermarket. And I will go out the market at some point, just because I want it brighter. I'm uh, kind of sitting back watching a couple products right now to see their how they operate, their longevity, if there's any issues. So once all that, I get that information, we're gonna be good to go. So as far as stock configuration, you know, the seat, the bars, and you need, some pipes on it because you can't you really can't hear it unless you're by yourself you can't hear it so now I'm gonna take you around the bike and show you what I did and when I did it. when I bought this bike I didn't even test ride it brand new bike I knew it was gonna be fine um, bought it and the Harley advisor rolled it out of the building over to the breakout so I could get all the stuff out of the breakout onto this and my buddy gliding on twos already had the custom dynamics tail light low profile and the led turn signals which he was not using on his bike so I, I picked those up from him and before i even left the dealership these two items was switched out 
right off the bat. Uh, as you can tell from my bronze license plate, no, I wrapped this license plate. It's actually black under it. And this is not going to be here for too much longer because I will do a turn signal delete. This stuff will be going on Ray's bike. I'm going to be getting the sequential bag blades and the tail, the turn signal delete. I don't think I'm going to do anything with the tour pack, but we'll get to the tour pack in a minute. So after we left, we booked it up to JMP Cycles and I picked up my seat, the uh, filler lights here, and I picked up the Custom Dynamics, uh, uh, what's it called? The three and the one, the triple play. Uh, picked up a triple play. And I also picked up handlebars, which they had to be shipped, so I didn't get to carry them home right off the gate. But I'm gonna be in certain clips here from where these were installed and other parts was installed as we go through this walkthrough. So with these being done first and then these being put on, these was actually really the third things that got put on. The second thing is the seat, which I went with the Saddleman road sofa in the carbon, which is the extended reach with the backrest because I had plans on bumping up the horsepower and wanted that little bit of extra security so she didn't buck me off. It's uh, the seat is a very comfortable seat, way comfortable than stock. I know people's like, oh, they're so hard. You got to break them in. You can ask gliding on twos. <laughs> These things were way softer than what the stock was right out the gate. Uh, so yes, I would definitely be buying this again. So gliding on twos, actually while I was paying for everything I was buying, he took the triple play and the seat and came out, oh yeah, and the thumb screw and bolt for the fender and put all that on while I was paying for everything with the manager at the Daytona JMP Cycles which was awesome enough to send me that crap stock seat back home. And we left there, went back to the rig, as you can see here. I have uh, several videos here where I was actually putting these on because I bought these off of Amazon just for the girlfriend when she rides, whenever that may be. So. This was really number three on the list that got put on. And number four. Okay, so after the announcement was made, I was buying this. Uh, pretty pretty good friend, Doc Carley, uh, got my address and sent me these CVO turn signals with the custom dynamic uh, LEDs in them. So you can see where my other good buddy Nori here is pulling off the front fairing and I'm putting those in, which pulling off the front fairing is probably the hardest part of putting those on. <laughs> and since he started, I was uh, more than willing to let him finish because I did not watch anything he did. So if I have to take that, well, when I have to take this off, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably find a video for that. So after these was done, that was graciously donated from Doc Harley. So y'all run over Doc Harley's channel and check them out if you've never seen them or heard of them, which I kind of find that rare. Okay. So from uh, there, I went down to Miami to get my stage two done from All American Cycles. And although I knew what I wanted, they didn't have it in stock. So if you know anything about all American cycles, if George says, I can do this, he's gonna make it, he's gonna do it and it will hit those numbers. So I ended up having to go with, I ended up going with the uh, Screaming Eagle 
extreme ventilator which I really didn't want any Screaming Eagle parts on here. I wanted to get completely away from Harley because of their whole part situation of never having anything in stock because they want to go and make stuff and sell it as it's being bought. But I'm actually kind of glad I got this. Uh, the factory, you have to contort your leg to use the rear brake and my toe has actually slid off the brake several times. So going from that big snorkel to this gives you a lot of leg room. And as you can see, it's sucking air from here and all the way around. Now the next thing they did was the D&D exhaust. And that D&D exhaust uh, is pretty good. I like it. I don't have any problems, anything negative to say about the exhaust. Uh, I did get a, the cam upgrade, which I would tell you the cam, but I don't really know the cam. So, yeah, I was just so excited to have this done. I really, I was really a bad YouTuber and didn't really film too much stuff, but I do have video of them doing the stage two. Um, so I'm glad I got that. <laughs> uh, I'm not one to shy away from showing numbers because to me horsepower and torque numbers don't really mean crap if you don't know how to ride your machine. So I'm at 133 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque and I will put that uh, right here so you can actually see that sheet. And after my stage two, I got after hours concepts to cut these graphics for the bags for me. And you can see he did the, the bronze chicken as everybody keeps calling it. I have recently added the claw marks that actually wrap down under. I did this all by hand. After hours concepts I actually cut that out on a vinyl cutter. Now my bars, as you can see my bars are the LA Chopper hammerheads with the ODI heart luck grips in bronze. Uh, see if I can readjust. Alright, this is pretty much my view of the LA Chopper hammerheads. And as you can see when she pops up you can see this infotainment perfectly fine so there's no don't don't think that this blocks vision i see right over it no problem because this is about where my eyesight is right here uh the la chopper hammerheads i really love these bars they're really comfortable i got them in 14s and when you get 14s you do not have to extend the wire, the brake line or the clutch cable. I did buy the KST 10 inch extensions and put those in so I have a little abundance of wire up under there. But I was also told that you could undo the clips off of here and pull them straight over and go right in without having to use that. So if it's something you want to try, go for it. I didn't, but Professional Monkey does it. so. I'm sure uh, it'll work just fine. The next thing that I had purchased, which I had delivered to my house, was the Quick Ditch Connect and the TC TM Tour Pack from Amazon. Uh, right now, I have no complaints about it. It was less than $400, and everything seems to be working fine on it. So until I get more miles on it, I'm really not going to say if it's a bad buy or a good buy. But right now, I have no complaints. And after my other thing that I bought is the Not Your Daddy Crash Bars, which I will be doing a install video on those. So go check out uh, CountryRoadCustomsTX.com where you can buy a lot of your performance parts that you want or need and they can make that happen. The Santoro Chef linkage, uh, 
Michael bike was kind enough to uh, sell that one to me so that saved me a bunch of money and makes the bike look way better so only thing I have left on this to change from the chrome and go black is the kickstand which I'm not in a hurry for that right now but that will be done eventually see she sounds mean uh, I gotta thank uh, good lord this is a list uh, Miracle City Harley Davidson uh, dh2performance.com country road customs tx.com and JMP cycles after hours concepts and gliding on twos and hells on two wheels uh, Michael Bike and Doc Harley. Uh, Y'all go check out those channels. I will have two more videos for sure coming out, which will be the crash bar insulation, and I'm doing a video dedicated doing a video dedicated to the suspension. So those things will be coming out. Uh, H2 Performance sold me the Suspension Tech RT Series. It's the first one on the street with front and rear RTs. And they are not disappointing, but stick around for that one. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you go to dh2performance.com, use promo code TWEEDLE, it'll get you 10% off of all your suspension technologies needs. And if you have any questions about this bike at all, uh, leave a comment go and hit the like button for this video and subscribe hit that little notification bell for whenever I do put out another video or go live and the sweat bees are eating my butt up so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here uh, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see y'all again on the next video peace